بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الرحمن الرحيم الحكيم السميع البصير الفعال لما يريد نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا وسيئات أعمالنا والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين المبعوث على فترة من الرسل قطعا لحجة من يقول ما جاءنا من نذير ولا بشير وقد جاء البشير والنذير بلغ الرسالة كاملة وأدى الأمانة خير الأداء ولم ينتقل إلى الرفيق العالى حتى بين للناس ما نزل إليهم بيانا شافيا لا غمور فيه ولا تعقيد عقله من عقله وجهله من جهله صلوات الله وسلامه عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين All praise due to Allah We always praise Allah We seek His assistance and His forgiveness And we seek refuge in Allah from the evil of ourselves My brothers and sisters in Islam I would like to start with the dua Asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala To forgive us our shortcomings And our sins, our mistakes we ask Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to look at us with the eyes of mercy. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not to punish us for the foolishness and injustice some of us are doing. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to remove this um, virus from the world. He's able to do whatever he wants. My brothers and sisters in Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said وَذَكِّرْ فَإِنَّ الذِّكْرَ تَنْفَعُ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ And reminder for the reminder benefits the believers. We always need a reminder. We say reminder here because what I'm going to discuss or what I'm going to remind myself before you is not something new to you. You hear them many, many times. But it is part of our nature to forget it is part our, of our nature to neglect. That's why I'm going to remind you of something that you have heard a lot. You are lot from all the scholars, especially in this time. I'm going to talk, the talk of the world today is about coronavirus. I know that you hear it a lot, no question about it, but I'm going to say something about it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, told us in the Quran in vivid manner, stated clear, and that he created life and death for test. And also he swore, where he says, وَبَشِّرُ الصَّابِرِينَ الَّذِينَ إِذَا أَصَابَتُمْ مُصِيبًا قَالُوا إِنَّا لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّا إِلَيْهِ رَاجِعُونَ Allah swear and that he will test us with something of fear بِخَوْفِ وَالْجُوءُ and hunger وَنَقْصٍ مِنَ الْأَمْوَالِ and loss of wealth والأنفس and life والثمرات and crops so وَبَشِّرُ الصَّابِرِينَ give Light handing for those who exercise patience when something happened to them, they lost their some of their beloved one who says, Inna wa inna So Allah made it very clear that He will test us. A Muslim, all Muslims, we don't have a problem with that. We know that for sure that will be tested. There's no question about it. So these tribulations that we are experiencing now is part of Allah's wound. Sunnah, Sunnatullah. وَلَنْ تَجِدَ لِسُنَّةِ اللَّهِ تَبْدِيلًا وَلَنْ تَجِدَ لِسُنَّةِ اللَّهِ تَحْوِيلًا You find no alteration, no changes in Allah's and the Sunnah. It's something that uh, Allah has promised. Allah doesn't fail His promise. Okay, Allah doesn't fail His promise. Whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promised, or he told us that he's going to do, it will happen whether you like it or not. As Muslim, as a Muslim, I believe in al-qadah 
al qada wal qadar is one of the principles of the pillars of iman we believe in 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 that we believe that everything that's happening in this world good or bad it happens by the permission of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala nothing can happen in this world without the permission and knowledge of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we know that for sure this is a well-established principle in our faith now having said this um this tribulation when the tribulation occurs a tribulation comes for many reasons there are causes for it but we might not we don't know the wisdom behind certain tribulations we know the causes maybe we can figure out the causes but a lot to test people with loss of wealth or loss of life as we are living now what we are experiencing now with this and a corona we might not be able to know the divine wisdom behind it but we know that it happens for good because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said so all the time that Allah SWT told us that he tests us with bad and good bad and good Allah tests us for Muslim it's win-win issue whether the tribulation or the test is bad or in, is, uh, uh, is good for me, as a Muslim, I think I believe that is good. That's why Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Ajab al amr al mu'min, in amrahu kullahu yaani al ajab." Or as Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, "In asabahu sara, shakar, fa kana khairan lahu. In asabatu dara, sabr wa kana fa kana khairan lahu." Or as Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, "Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, I admire." A believer, I admire a Muslim, and that if something uh, calamity befalls up uh, on him, he's patient, and then that is good for him. If something good happened to him, it's, it will be thankful to Almighty Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, and that is good for him. He said, "You find only this character with a believer." My brothers and sisters in Islam, the ample verses in the quran talking about the tribulation of the people before us allah told us all these things so that we may take lesson from all these things allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned the causes of, uh, of these tri tri tribulations and the reason why he tested those people with that with these calamities and, tri and tribulations so if you look at the quran my brothers and sisters in Islam, you will find that the people in the state of tribulation may be divided into six or seven categories. Categories. Okay, for some people, the tribulation that we see is a punishment for them. It's a punishment for some people. We read in the Quran the story of Ashab al Jannah, the people of Garden. In Balawnahum Kama Balona Ashab al Jannah, if the Aksamu, Layasurimun Naham of Musbihin, or Layas of Noon, but of Alea Taifum and Rebecca Hom Naimun, for Asu has Kasurim, but another Musbihina and Ildu Alla Hardikum in Kundu Sarimin, Fantalaku, whom yet a half a tuna and lay an adhulan radio malikum skin. For I until Allah said, Follow Mara Awa Kalu in the Lord, but Nahum Ahumu. Ala Al Satum Adam Apulla Kundona to Sabihun. The people of God in this people, Allah has blessed them with a lot of things, with a lot of wealth. But they uh, agree among themselves to deny the poor uh the portion of, of of the poor and they went to their garden when they went there they finally destroyed all the gardens has gone they said we are lost this is not our garden this is not the place 
we we are lost. And oh no 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 one of they said but not mahrumun. This has been taken away from us. I was taken of us. So for this is punishment. You find some people tribulation is <clears throat> proof of your iman. The proof of your iman, brothers and sisters in Islam. You know that when tests come, that is the time you know your level of iman. That um, the tribulation reveals to you about yourself, to know yourself more and more. Some of us, the tribulation or test or trial, whatever you call it, is to test our faith. For some of us to test our faith, to see how we'll behave, whether we'll embrace these and uh, uh, tests or not, it's a test of, of, of Iman. It's a test of Iman. For some people, the tribulation is expiation of their sins. As the, as the Prophet said, when a son of Adam, uh, you are sick, even if you hit yourself with a rock or thrown sick on, on, on by your feet, it's expiation. It's a part of expiation of the sin. So some of us, when the tribulation comes, you get sick. When you get sick, alhamdulillah, with this uh, virus, and you get warm, and that is expiation for for uh for you and also um the and the test comes in order to raise the status of some individuals for some in individuals let me give an example of ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam status has been raised to the status of khulla 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 means a, a friend of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, when I was talking about the khulla, is I said there is a khulla between you and I, means you, our friendship is so strong to the that to the extent that I don't forget you at any time. All the time you are in my mind, you are in my heart. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tested Ibrahim. Allah told us that he tested Ibrahim alayhi salatu salam, and Ibrahim fulfilled, uh, passed the test more than 100%. He and passed the, in the test. The test was very, very, very severe. When Ibrahim is looking for a, for a son, he became an old man. And Allah blessed him with Ismail. He loves Ismail so much. So much. And Allah tested him. Test whether uh, to see whether or not Ibrahim has a room in his in his heart for someone uh, else other than Allah. Allah tests him because he loves Ismail. And when Allah when Ibrahim fulfilled the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah said, Allah Ibrahim Khalida. Ibrahim, Allah SWT, you pass the test, I will make you Imam, I will make you Imam example for the people, and Ibrahim alayhi salatu you are my Khalil. Ibrahim Khalila, raise his status. The same thing with us. And this problem that we are facing today, some of us a status will be raised in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It depends on how you deal with the an issue. Now, some of us also is um shahada, shahada, raising the status. Allah Akbar. And those who die in this uh, revelation, Muslims who die in this revelation, that is Shahada, because this is Ta'un. And Prophet Sallallahu told us whoever died in the state uh, with, uh, with Ta'un epidemic is that he dies as Shaheed. But that is not the Shahada in the battle of the field, but it's a, it's a kind of Shahada. So now, your status have been raised 
from a Muslim or Mormon to the states of Shahada. And some of us also, this is would be a lesson. Lesson. Having they seen that every year they are tested once a year or two times, and then they don't repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they don't take heed of that test, they don't take lesson, they don't take lesson from that. So is Allah tests us so that we can take lesson from what it, what happened, what, uh, what happened to us. Repent to Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and think, take lesson, for, uh, correct your mistake, correct yourself, my brothers and sisters in Islam. So, um, every tribulation or every test comes with good. Wallahi is come with good. There's a good about it. No question about it. So this tribulation has impacted humanity in different ways. It impacted humanity as a whole, people as a and whole. It impacted us spirituality, spiritual and emotional, social, and economic. This has impact. For Muslim spiritual, spiritual uh, uh, some of us became more spiritual. The word spiritual, I'm using it in those terms. It is, um, that's the, the, uh, the best word that I can find to describe what I'm trying to say, means we become more connected with Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala become more connected to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this makes us to, when we and they stay at, at home, we do a lot of prayers. We do a lot of reading of Quran. We and abstain from uh, backbiting. We abstain from many, many, many things. So that this benefits some of us spiritually and emotionally. That's a very sad part of it. Emotionally here, I mean, some of us may lose some of our beloved one. And now we can perform, rise a ghusl for our brothers, mm -hmm. our sisters. Even we are not allowed to come close to the inner body. And some of the body, some of uh, the body, we don't you, you don't see it you just people make video and send it to you and when we are going to bury you and many 10 people five people only are, are allowed to go to the graveyard this is something really really is very 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 sad it's very sad emotionally speaking it's very 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 sad we ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to remove this virus from the world and also socially socially the gathering social gathering that we have and the social that is uh, that we enjoy in the masjid when we meet in the masjid after salah we socialize we see our friends we and they go to an um, um coffee and a coffee after Salat al Fajr. All we go to dinner together. All this in Hasganda. And even visitation to visit your relatives, to sit together, to visit your parents, to visit your brothers. All this in Hasgan, my brothers and sisters in Islam. All this in Hasgan. And also, economy, this is the whole world. People losing their jobs and the business are closed and same time when it comes to education and the schools are closed uh, uh, close, uh, close institutions educational institutions are closed my brothers and sisters in Islam now when we come to the, some benefit from this is that we see the importance of praying 
jama'ah in the masjid. Everybody lost, miss that. We miss it. Wallahi al-Azim. We miss our Friday prayers together. And more importantly, we may not get together in the month of Ramadan, in the masjid, in our uh, iftar, a collective iftar. Maybe we are going to miss that also. And we're going to miss recitative praying behind our beautiful imams. Yes, I know that we can do virtual and uh, 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 recitation. Not that we're praying behind the imam, virtual prayer, no. We don't have that. Okay. So this is really, really, really painful. And this is really what every Muslim is concerned about. Concerned we miss a lot. And that will make us, at the same time, to see the importance of praying together, socialization, and so, and so, and so on. Some of the benefits that we get from this, my brothers, and Islam, this is strengthening our faith. In the sense that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, I will test you with something of fear and hunger and uh, loss of life and wealth. We see all these things. So when the Sahaba are promised something and they say they come true, they said, Hada ma wa'adanallahu wa rasulu wa sadaqallahu wa rasulu wa ma zaluhum illa iman wa taslima. When the Sahaba are promised to see some, uh, promise something and they see it with their eyes, when the Mara al Mu'minun al Ahzab, when the uh, uh, Muslim, they see the Ahzab, the groups that came to rooted Muslims in, in Medina, they saw them with their eyes. Sahaba said, What? This is what Allah and His Messenger promised us. This increased them, but Submission to Allah and Iman. Some of us, we have to think about these things. We have to look at this, what Allah SWT said about this, what the Prophet SWT said about this. This is the truth. Everybody is fear because this virus generated, uh, generated genuine concern and fear. Muslims, we do not afraid of the devil. Maybe we're afraid and that, and if you get this sick, will affect Many, 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 many people. Therefore, we know that it's real. It is going to happen. It's a matter of time. Sooner or later. There's no question about it. But we are concerned about affecting children, wives, husbands, and relatives, and this and that and that. So this thing has to increase our faith in our book, in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And also this shows the weakness of humanity. And so that humanity would be humble himself to Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This in a small virus, that in a, um, a small as item, even you can't see it with your naked eyes, strikes, fear, global fear. Everybody's afraid. And look how it changed the whole world. What is going on? What is behind that? Only Allah knows. Okay. And also, this is a wake up call for all humanity. Humanity, think about these things. Think about what is going on. Think about what you're doing in this world. Many, many, many things going on. Many killings going in the world. We don't know if this Vavaru didn't come, how many Muslims will be killing in India? How many Muslims will be killing in India? in Burma, in all these kind of things. There's a, a divine wisdom behind it. There's no question about it. We won't be able to maybe to figure out now, maybe in the future, maybe until the day of judgment. But we believe in God, in Allah's wisdom. We believe in Allah's justice. That's why one of the very, very strong and the dua that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told, and told us, Allahumma inni abduk ibn abduk ibn amatik. Nasiyati biyadik maadin fiya hukmuk. Adlun fiya qadauk. Okay. I'm the son of your uh, slave man, a man and, me, and female 
and all these things. You control my life, Allah. Whatever you decided in me, your Allah is justice. And it will happen. This is how I believe. It's a justice. Whether we understand it or not, it's a justice. Muslim, we have to believe in, in that. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't do wrong to any of his creatures. Brothers and sisters in Islam, some of us, no, we don't take things in, uh, into granted. There's nothing stand still. Nothing stand still, okay? Things can change within a few seconds. Look how this can happen. And so minds, the whole system, the whole order of the world has changed. Everything has changed. One of the things also, my brothers, and that we benefit from this is it's a good opportunity to learn more about Islam, to learn about our deen, to learn especially the scholars. The scholars, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to bless them and give them and a long life, because Council of America, they are doing very uh, excellent job, and uh, Amja, they are doing very good job, and many many communities, they are doing very good job. This uh, situation, this revelation, forced them now to come up with many 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 uh, uh, fatwas, important fatwas, and to educate our people, to educate our people. Subhanallah alaikum, and I think the scholars of islam they benefit from this revelation because that forced them to make and uh, to revisit our our sources to come up with the wonderful fatwas and that uh, fatwas that benefit us we also we learn we learn we stay home with our kids and our wives and our children we learn more about an islam this is awesome um so my brothers and sisters in Islam, behind any tribulation, there are some benefits. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't do injustice to his uh, servants. And Allah knows, and we don't know. As a Muslim, you have to believe in Al-Qadha and, and Qadr. And that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala um, said in the Quran, and that he will test us with good and bad, or bad and good. We have to submit to the uh, Allah's divine wisdom. There is no question about it. So this is my short reminder to myself and to my brothers in Islam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. اللهم لك الحمد كما ينبغي لجلالك وعظيم سلطانك نثني عليك ولا نثنى عليك انت كما اثنيت على نفسك انت الحليم الرشيد انت الحليم الرشيد الرحمن الحكيم الخبير تفعل ما تريد ولا تسال عما تفعل وقد نزل بعبادك ما نزل وانت اعلم بما 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 نزل ولا يرفعه الا انت فارفع عنا هذا البلاء يا رب العالمين فرفع عنا هذا البلاء يا رب العالمين أو الله you know better than anyone else with the, uh, what happened the tribulation that the people are suffering from you know this and the virus uh, uh, you created it and it came in affecting people uh, with your knowledge you know exactly what you're doing you are the wise you are all seeing Nothing can happen in this world without your permission. No one can remove this um, virus in this world except you. So Allah, Allah will remove it. Allah remove it. Allah make it disappear. Allah make it disappear. The rahmat ikan istagif. Ya akram al akramin wa ya arham al rahimin. Sallallahu wa sallim ala sayyidina wa nabiyina Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa ashabi. وتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته الله أكبر